Um, NHS Pathways is a, a suite of uh, clinical content that's evidence-based, designed by clinicians for the NHS. So that when patients uh, are contacting a service on the telephone, uh, their assessment can be consistent and their, their, their clinical need met appropriately. I've been involved with NHS Pathways in my current role for the last four years and prior to that in different uh, uh, aspects uh, going back to at least another four years. So I have an understanding of what NHS Pathways was trying to achieve um, and also in terms of how it's been developed. NHS Pathways is governed by having an independent national uh, clinical governance group. Uh, it's a group that is independent of the NHS Pathways authoring team and the NHS. Hence has, has oversight over the, the clinical content both in terms of the, the evidence base and also relevance to the NHS. The National Clinical Governance Group for NHS Pathways uh, uh, is made up of members from the Royal Medical Colleges and um, other organisations that are, uh, 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 have interest in urgent and emergency care. So they include uh, colleges including the College of Emergency Medicine, uh, uh, the Royal College of Paediatric Child Health, Royal College of Psychiatrists um, and, other, uh, and other colleges and also uh, ambulance services, out of hours organisations and patient groups. The clinical content uh, of NHS Pathways is reviewed by the National uh, Clinical Governance Group. Uh, different specialties relevant to different Royal Medical Colleges is reviewed independently to ensure that it's evidence-based and up-to-date. The NHS Pathways Clinical Governance Group uh, uh, meets twice a year. Um, it reviews every new release. Having initially reviewed the whole clinical content previously, uh, it is involved in uh, uh, reviewing any, uh, any changes that need to take place uh, between uh, uh, the two releases. Uh, however, every single a new pathway is reviewed uh, by the group uh, and by the specialty involved in that particular pathway. The clinical content is, uh, use, is, is linked to at least three pieces of evidence, uh, which is up to date uh, and usually related to the United Kingdom um, and is, is ratified by the Royal Medical Colleges. NHS Pathways has been extensively uh, uh, tested and evaluated by academic institutions, including Sheffield University. It's been found to be at least as safe as anything else in the NHS. Um, and in terms of uh, uh, ensuring that patients receive the right care first time, uh, um, it, 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 the research findings have confirmed this. At the moment, uh, NHS Pathways uh, can be used on the telephone. However, there's further development uh, um, uh, currently uh, using it uh, with paramedics and uh, at the front end of emergency departments. For example, in Blackpool, it's currently being piloted uh, um, and uh, at the front end of the A&E department and they're showing not only has it that it's got positive patient experience and satisfaction, but also uh, is directing people to the appropriate level of care, which has uh, um, uh, uh, benefits both to the hospital and to the commissioners there.